I wanted to announce something. Um, I learned how to make matcha lattes myself and my life has now changed. However, I've been really consuming way too much caffeinated beverages lately and I don't feel okay. Anyways, cheers. Thanks for being here today, beautiful. How are you doing? Mm. Let me just get hyped up on caffeine and then we can talk about my favorite subject in the world. Also like, Brad, why are you all of a sudden wearing eyeshadow? Because I want to. And I feel like the washed one color look is like my thing. So I feel like you might be seeing a lot more of this, but we're talking about K-pop today. Literally my favorite subject. I'm such a K-pop stan, it's disgusting. Like I will play the same song a billion times in a row and I will try to learn the dance to every K-pop music video ever, but I never end up actually being able to learn it because they're always really complicated. Like, why are you gonna make it so complicated for me? Listen, I can get down, but I can't learn choreography. I've never, never, no. Anyways, so as you probably know, or maybe you don't know, maybe you have no idea what K-pop is. Well, K-pop is Korean pop. That's, that's it. it. There's no secret to it. it and basically all the K-pop idols have very unique looks. The guys are not scared to be feminine and wear glitter and eyeliner and have colorful hair and wear bright colors and they just look so good and same with the girls like they really go and and push the style limits with their hair and their makeup and their wardrobe basically the way why i look the way i look now a days is because of k-pop i really am inspired by the whole genre of music and everything they do but today we're gonna focus on guess what we're doing we're gonna talk about k-pop hair because girl they are really pushing the limits and we are gonna go over the best looks. If you have no idea anything about K-pop, just wait for these looks. Let's do it. <laughs> do I look as good as I think I do? What the hell? Okay. Why don't we start with a banger? <laughs> so I'm actually kind of unfamiliar with this group. <laughs> I think the group is called Sh Shine Shanese. Oh, oh, I, mm, I probably botched that. That's People are gonna definitely come for me on that one. But um, their song is called Good Evening, okay? And this guy named Ki, or Kai had a really cool, really, really cool buzz cut. I mean, what? Oh, are you kidding? Like, oh, girl, it's hot in here, but it's gotten hotter real quick. I mean, look at this haircut. Look at it. First of all, living for the random, like asymmetrical buzz cut going on here, and then combined with the random shaped objects of color in his hair, it is just a recipe for greatness and beautifulness and only a K-pop artist, and maybe me, could pull that off. I mean, that is like, literally so good. Makes me want to just do random things to my hair, but I know that I'll regret it like the next day. I would literally date the out of him. Dude, if this isn't like hair art, if this isn't the best thing you've ever seen, I don't know what else you've seen in your life because it's just so random and like so grungy, but also like done and refined and cool. And like, this is why I love K-pop. Oh, if you're not an already a K-pop stand, like are you getting it now? Dude, this look just gets a 10 out of 10. He looks so good. I I don't, are we kidding? The hairstylists that do the K-pop groups, I need to meet you. I need to know who you are. I think it's probably time for me to just move to Korea and start doing K-pop hair for the rest of my life. I think I'd be really happy doing that. And I don't know, man. But anyways, really great look. I, I, I don't want to stop talking about it, but I have to. I have to, I have to move on. I'm sorry, Key. Whatever your name is, let me know, guys. Let's move on. We're seeing a ton of violet hair in K-pop right now. And if you didn't know this already, ultraviolet was the Pantone color of the year and clearly the K-pop industry took that very seriously because we are seeing look after look of violet hair and it is stunning, especially the one that Jenny wore, uh, Jenny from Blackpink, AKA my bias. I mean, Lisa and Jenny, like, hello, like, I don't know who to pick sometimes, but they are both absolutely stunning. I mean, the whole group is, but like, oof, Jenny just gets me. She just gets me. Uh, the Do 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 music video, which was literally my favorite K-pop video of all year was Do Do Do, Do 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 Do. I even learned to dance. Like, I'm a pretty big Blackpink fan. I saw them at Coachella, and then I saw them like three weeks later in New York City. It was really good both times. But Jenny killed it with this hair color, this violet ponytail moment. I love that it goes from like a 
deep like reddish violet to a ultra violet like ends. It is so snatched, it is so cute, it's like center parted, it looks so good for her and it matches like the entire scene. These shoots that they do are literally the most high budget craziest things I've ever seen. If you've never seen a K-pop music video, please go watch one. They spend millions of dollars on these videos and you will see every little thing. Everything is perfect. And then we had Mark from GOT7. I literally don't know if that's like actually how you're supposed to say it, but that's how I say it. He did this ultra violet moment. <sighs> Again, it's really hot in here, but it's gonna be, it's getting extra steam in here talking about K-pop boys. Like, I can't. It's my weakness. This was so good. I mean, it's like the most sheer violet color and it brings out his skin tone. It makes them so glowy and like that very pale skin with that violet look is so beautiful and so well done. And somehow all these guys, like their hair doesn't look that damaged and... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I'm onto the K-pop industry. Like they definitely don't actually color their hair. They definitely all just have blonde hair and then they do like some kind of spray or like a temporary hair dye every time they want a different color. Like they don't actually permanently color their hair. If you guys didn't already know that, there's ways of coloring your hair without it being permanent. Like you can wear it for a day and then wash it off. So that's probably what they do for the K-pop industry. And that's how they change their hair color all the time. Ugh, obsessed. Another violet moment, Ren from Newest. This was um, interesting. Uh, listen, this might not be everybody's cup of tea, but like, from like, I don't know, like a hairstylist point of view, I feel like this looks really cool. I love the kind of mullet style, guys. I've been playing around with like wanting to have a kind of a mullet style lately, and I'm probably gonna do it, but like, this is so well done mullet kind of look. Like, it has that little like straggly hair moment going in the back, but the sides are kind of tapered still, and then he has that beautiful fringe going down, and then of course the violet, the very light, majestic, ethereal violet that he has going on is just so fabulous and and just works so good with his skin. And, oh, look at his lips, look at his face, like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Why do you have to do this to me? Such a great moment in K-pop, all the violet hair going on, love it. Let's move on though. Oh! Okay, here's something that I actually am surprised that I'm getting back into is tinsel hair. If you've never heard of tinsel hair, this is how it works. This is how it's applied. It's weird. And growing up in a salon, I was fascinated by tinsel hair and I wanted it in my hair. Maybe I should do that. <sighs> Ideas. So that's tinsel hair. And tinsel hair has been a huge trend lately and I blame the K-pop industry. Korean people are setting the trends, you guys. And I don't know if a lot of people really this it's like filtering down from Korea into the United States and we are getting it after them but they are literally starting it tinsel hair we saw it on I'm not even gonna try to say his name it's like I don't here's what it Chenyol Chenyols Chen Chenyol oh god this is so bad with the pronunciation Chenyol shoot Chenyols he had like holographic highlights in EXO's love shot video which is also one of my favorite videos it's a love shot. So good though. He had tinsel highlights and like that hair and makeup room at a K-pop music video set must be so fun. It must be really great and I would like a part of it. And then we had this iconic moment by a girl named Suya um, in the group twice and in the Yes or Yes music video she had tinsel hair flowing through her dark locks. Why are you gonna do this to me? It's like magic. Honestly though like I feel like if a normal person wore it it would just be like what are you doing man? Why do you have tinsel in your hair? But K-pop girls do it and K-pop guys do it and you're like this works. This is good for them. This is what I need and this is how it should be you know? Anyways hair tinsel was so big. Our next subject it's an interesting one. I noticed that a lot of K-pop girls and guys, they have like almost colors that I've never really seen before, which is they make everything into like an ash tone somehow. It's almost like green, a green cast on every color that they do. Most Asian women that come into the salon, they want ashy hair. It's just a desirable thing because it's very hard to get because Asian hair is very hard to lift typically and it just doesn't want to lift past like orange and yellow. You'll notice that a lot of these K-pop girls have this very iconic like ash toned hair. The person that comes to mind right now is Lisa from Blackpink. For a while she had this like kind of green casted, like very ashy, 
blonde, but also like a light brown color going on. But again, it just worked so good for her. Normally I'd be like, why do you want this color? But it, for some reason, K-pop girls, it just works so good on them. RM from BTS, he always kind of has that also like that green cast gray brown color that just works so well. But I see that being a big trend within the K-pop industry. Any color they do, it's usually very ashed out. Like there's no shine coming from that hair. It's just like, bleh, and it just looks good. Normally I'd be like, um, are you sure you want that? Like, don't you want your hair to look like lustrous and like shiny and pretty? But it works for these K-pop artists. That br Actually, that brings me to my next topic, which is bowl cuts. <laughs> a group that I've noticed really goes to the bowl cuts. I mean, there's a lot of them, but one that's really stood out for me is is TXT, they really go in with the bowl cuts, girl. It is like bowl cut central over here. I also have never looked up how old these guys are, but they look like the youngest ones of like all the K-pop groups. They just have like the thickest, thickest hair. And it's just like all the way around. And for some reason, it works. I love the bowl cut. We have this like reddish bowl cut. We have this like violet bowl cut. We have this blonde bowl cut. TXT members are killing the bowl cut game. And then on the female side of K-pop, we're seeing a lot of bold choppy bobs to the chin. And if there's one thing in life that I love more than blonde hair, it's choppy bobs. It just accentuates the cheeks, the jaw. It just makes you look so like badass and and like, oof, like you are gonna stomp on my head and I am going to enjoy it kind of look. We have Tiffany Young here who has a black blunt chin length bob who went from this really long look here to this look here for the release of her song Teach You and so much better short. Do you agree with me? I mean, come, like what? What were you literally doing with that long hair? Like it just wasn't good for you. It wasn't. This is so much better for you. And it looks stunning. And then like if you combine blonde and a blunt chin length bob, you get Brad's happy space. Here we have Hayiri from Girls Day. Don't know if that's how you say her name, but she is rocking both of my favorite things. <laughs> blonde, blunt, bob, and she looks boing, honey. Boing! She looks uh, so good, baby. Oh, girl, I love it. It's so good for her. It like honestly just frames her face and she looks just so boop and cute. It's fresh, it's young, it's it's hip. It's like, ooh, I love it. Why don't we finish off today's video by talking about some of the most iconic blonde hair. Because you know me, Brad, I love my, myself some blonde hair. And you know what? That's okay. It's just something that I'll never get over. So why don't we talk about some of the, my top three best blonde K-pop moments. Ah! I feel like we can't talk about blondes without just talking about Lisa from Blackpink. She did this platinum blonde to strawberry pink moment. You are kidding with this look. Sorry, I'm gonna like, I'm getting teary eyed and oh, banging. She looks so good as a blonde man. She needs to stop going dark. She just had her hair black and I'm just not happy with it. And then we had this like extreme ombre moment where she has like these really dark roots and then her ends are really light. And for some reason, normal life, I probably would say no to somebody. I would probably be like, eh, maybe we shouldn't do that. But like for Lisa, she has the face to pull off anything because they look like dolls. She's probably the only one who could pull this off. Honestly, honestly. I mean, it goes from this really, really deep brown to this beautiful, beautiful blonde. And it is so K-pop and so fresh. And I love the chopped blunt bob haircut. That's it, just so good. Ah! Now we have Suho uh, from the group EXO. Yo, does, sometimes I think I'm cute. And then I see images like this and I'm like, we have the same hairstyle and like the same vibe going on, but like you are just stealing the show from me and it's not okay. And I want my gig bag. What the hell? But anyways, we're here to talk about his blonde hair. He looks stunning, obviously amazing. Like, oh, look at his porcelain stupid skin. Like, oh, he looks great. This blonde hair works so good for him. It's really good. 
I don't know, I have nothing else to say. This haircut, it's great too. And now we're back to Blackpink. We have Rosé, who has had every blonde shade in the world, including the color Rosé. And I think Blackpink definitely takes the cake for the best blondes. I don't even know how her hair looks so healthy. Like obviously she's probably wearing extensions, but like even the top of her hair looks so healthy. And this rooted ash blonde moment is just divine on her. This was, I think, the best color she had. I do like when she does like the, the dusty pink color because like her name's Rosé and like it's cute though she has like a rosé colored hair, you know what I mean? I love the long hair on her and then the sort of like soft waves she always has. She always has kind of like an undone style going on and it just works so good for her personality and her look. <sighs> Let's end it there. Like, ooh, she, she takes the cake for like some of the most beautiful blondes I've ever seen on some Korean girls. Like, ooh, yeah. Snaps for you. So good. Ah, oh, well, it's really too bad I'm not Korean because I would just love to be a K-pop idol. And listen, I know all the stuff that goes into it. I know it's brutal, okay? But listen, sometimes you gotta make some sacrifices in life to get to where you wanna be. And not everything is pretty. But I think I have what it takes to be a K-pop idol. Like I could do it, I could do it, and I would change my hair all the time. I already do. I, I'm, I mean, I'm basically almost there. But those were some of my favorite K-pop hair looks, some of my favorite things around the industry that is just revolutionizing the rest of the world. And now that k pop is becoming more relevant, I think we're gonna be seeing more people doing really crazy things to their hair, um, really fun looks, guys experimenting with their hair even more than they have in the past year. And thank you to the K-pop industry for just switching it up and changing looks and being creative and making the rest of the world feel like we're boring. Thank you for that. And if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram and Twitter, follow me there at BradMondoNYC. And please follow my hair care brand, XMondoHair on Instagram. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time. Peace.